Well, some kids are getting back into sports. There's confusion over who can return to play, how it should be done, and just who will decide. News 13's Rebecca Atkins reports the whole process is frustrating for New Mexico families. Rebecca. Well, today I spoke with a coach whose kids play at the Stone Face Tavern on I-20 near I-25 in Paseo. He says they were in the middle of prepping their sand courts for the kids when they were told to lock up. So my daughter's 13 and I'm trying to sit here and explain why she can't be outside and playing outside, stuck at home, um, and I really don't have answers for her. We feel like it's very selective right now because we're one of the only places in town that is shut down. Brian Klein is a coach with the New Mexico Premier Volleyball and says last week the state told the staff that the sand courts could not open and they were not given any explanation as to why. He says it's frustrating because other courts that have some indoor have been allowed to stay open with as many as five players per court. Sand often plays with only four. They want to know why some places are being singled out. Duke City Beaches on Manal says it too was forced to close. They say it was because someone complained and it's a contact sport. We did reach out to the state to see why these courts were closed. State police say Duke City is in compliance and should be allowed to stay open. Stoneface says it was forced to close by the New Mexico Department of Health. The Department of Health is still working on getting a response as to why they had to close. But on Friday, Dr. Scrace with the Human Services Department says they're still working on state guidelines. Well, the CDC, you know, has, has put out some guidance about that. And in general, contact sports, the reason they call them contact sports is because you actually have physical contact with other folks, which clearly requires less than six foot distancing. I think one of the great mysteries for me in this whole pandemic is what is the role of children? Now, as far as sand volleyball, both players and coaches argue that you really can't get any farther apart when playing with just two players per side. There is a lot of distance. Now, both groups are calling on the public to reach out to their state representatives to get some help. Back to you. Okay, thanks, Rebecca. Now, the New Mexico Athletics Association has released its own guidelines for phase one of returning to play based on the public health order. In it, they mentioned that no contact with others is allowed, no sharing of equipment, and no games or scrimmages. Now, other leagues like I-9 Youth Sports, they've been back in action for two weekends now, but have been limiting contact among athletes.